is Al Bain from Al Bain for Leather, and, and I'm standing right out in front of the Leather Machine Company in Southern California. All right, so, so when we walk inside, the first thing you do is come into this little area that is the beginning of the main administrative side of the shop. Okay. All right, come on in and meet Heather. Hello, Heather, how are you doing? I'm great. What's your job here? Everything. <laughs> well, we knew that. <laughs> but your basic job description is? Um, general manager. Okay, so people call you and then you graciously answer the phone for them? Yes. Okay, and I think you're in charge of the shipping and all that good shipping, stuff, Shipping, right? orders, um, billing, uh, payables, receivables. It's all Everything. lifeblood stuff, right? <laughs> yeah. There you go. And this is Mr. Bible. He's just picking up. What are you, what are you picking up today? Uh, the Cobra Class 26. Ah, uh, it's yes. a good machine. Isn't that it right there? Yeah, yep, that's, that's the good. Right? Yeah, huh? That's the particular machine right there. And there's Raymond setting it up for him. Raymond, how, how, you, how doing, you doing, buddy? Boy, how you doing? Just getting it ready for here. <clears throat> Can I give him a little demo and show him how it's... How are you here? Quick, huh? you take yeah. care of it. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. The amount of flow that we have going on is just unreal. Good luck with your machine, and uh, if you need Cheers, help, uh, you know you know where to find me. Thank you very much. I check you out on YouTube like I have been. Are you a member of the Tips and Tricks group on Facebook? I am. I yeah. joined the yeah. group. Yeah. Okay. So if you need any help, Hi. let me know, and we'll get yeah, you square. Yeah, sure. Cool. Is, is this your first machine? This is my first machine. I have no idea how to sew even. You where know? do you live? I live in Huntington yeah. Beach. Oh wow. So these guys are close to there, but. Um, uh -huh. I'm over, I'm only in Culver City. You can come okay. over. I'll give you a lesson. Okay, that'd be cool. Yeah, just drive up, and uh, I've got I got him a, a, a 26 there. We'll just okay hook you right up. No, I see I see you uh, doing some work there every so often. Yeah, you just know. come on over. Oh, yeah, cheers, Al. Pleasure's mine. Yeah, you too. Thank you. All right, come on. Oh, no. <laughs> Here we go. You're on our videos. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Al, so you're <laughs> we didn't see Thor. We gotta say hi to Thor. There he is over there. The dog. There's another, there's another Thor, you can see hi. Say hi, There's Thor. Hi, Thor. Tell everybody hello. Okay, sit down. Mm -hmm. Say hi. What size is it? Say, no, he's gonna go see you. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, cool. Alright, let's do this. Where are you going? Who's out there? That's Dave. Oh. Children. He's the mastermind behind everything. Sorry. He's on the phone. But he's on the phone, so let's just do it. He loves kids. Okay. No, uh, you don't have to This is the land of Cobra Steve. Man, myth, legend. <laughs> In some people's mind. <laughs> at, least, at least people who understand sewing and the massive contributions you've done to the way sewing and the information about sewing machines has been handed down. In the past, sewing machine information was trade secret stuff and people held on to that information. And Steve started teaching the fundamentals of sewing and timing of sewing machines and basic maintenance and all the secrets have been told. So now, let's just thank Steve for his contribution and the evolution of the way saw machines are being done. It all comes out of customer service. Yeah. Customer well, service is number one. He's a, well, that, that's what the Leather Machine Company is famous for, so we're lucky to be around, and thank you for everything. Sure, thank you. Al. All right, let's go Bye. through this way. Looks like Dave is finally off the phone. Ladies and gentlemen, Hello. Big Bad Dave, Cobra Dave. How's it going, boss? Good. Nice so again. let's uh, talk about the the setup room. All right, follow me. That's where we break him in in an oil bath. And they'll run for 45 minutes to an hour. No, it's okay. Do you want it to run again? Do you want to run again? Sure. We remove the bobbin winder and check it out. Check the main shaft. We do all kinds of work. So what's the, the purpose of the breaking? Obviously we know this. Let's go to our audience. Alright, I'm going to close it so we can hear each other. So what's the purpose of the break-in and the oil bath? Well, two main purposes. One is we, you know, a lot of the bushings, the bearings, the eccentrics are all brand new. We work them in so they're smooth, the machine hums when it's finished. 
Um, we just don't ship boxes. We just don't do that. The second thing is what we do is we time the machines before we put it on the workout bench. And then we run them, we check the timing to make sure it hasn't slipped. If it's slipped, we find out why, we correct the problem. 99.9% .9 of the time it hasn't slipped, it's good to go. When these machines are finished, and if you'll follow me, so, we have three mechanics on this side, by the way. There's Tony up front, Raphael, Raymond is in the front with the customer. He's picking up a machine. Right, we saw him all earlier. Yeah. So, when the mechanics are finished and everything's been tested and approved, they sign off on it so we know exactly who did the machine. We leave the samples right on the machine that is sewn. The thread is still connected. And then the machines come over to the next bay to be packaged. All right, and have you taken pictures of both sides? Every day we ship between 16 and 20 machines. They're loading that trailer now. There's probably, there's probably 12 or 15 machines on it already. And that happens every single day. All right, now I'm, we're going to go to the next bay. So in this bay is where the assembly takes place. So after the machines are broken in and signed off by the head mechanic, they come here for assembly. They build the stands um, with the motor, the speed reducer, and so on and so forth. And then they strap them and wrap them and they look like that when they're going out. So if I remember correctly, this room also is where the sharp stuff happens. The splitters and the skyrim, right? Correct. Okay, correct. And isn't Vince in charge of the sharp stuff? Vince or? is our expert on splitters and skyrims. In fact, there's a splitter right there that they're just assembling. That one is going out. That'll go out on Monday because we're finished for today. Um, best splitter in the business. There you go, of course. So, and then what happens in this room over here? In this room over here, After machines are sewn off in the first bay, and if we're not shipping them right away, we'll put them in storage here so these guys take them from here. You can see a few machines over there and on the shelves. Those have all been sewn off. These have all been sewn off. The name of the, uh, the mechanic who did it is on the box. Description, this is a crossword premium. In the far corner is Shailene, one of our employees. She prepares all the thread stands all the accessories that go with every machine. So those are checked out by her, signed off by her, ready to go. Okay, and then what happened in that building that's next door? The building that next door, follow me. Last time I was here, this was a big automated screen printing facility. What happened with that? Uh, we took over this bay. It's about an, an additional 3,000 feet. So that gives us about a total of 10 or 11,000 feet. 90% of what is in here is our thread. We have 32 colors of thread. Um, we supply some major people and it's a big part of our business, very important part of our business. I can actually show you the thread room. Hello. So let's go into the thread room and check out all the cool colors. Bunch of sandy belts for the finishing machines. Needles. And so, what's going on with these offices up in front? Those offices up in front are still under construction. You're remodeling them yet? We're remodeling them. We're going to move my office and Heather's office into there. And where Heather and I are now will become a gigantic showroom with every model of every machine that we sell. Cool. There you, go. you know who we left out is Tony. We didn't. So this is Tony. Tony is our head mechanic and one of the best mechanics I've ever met in my life. He can fix any problem if there is one. He is an absolute genius and an expert. Say hello, Tony. Hello. <laughs> Tony. That's Tony. All right. That's me. Oh, here. 
So we've had a good time visiting and touring the Leather Machine Company in Southern California. Thanks, Dave, for having us. And remember, please, please pay, pay it, it forward. forward. <laughs> All right. Be happy. Take care, man.